Hello everyone, my name is Oliver Drobnik from Coconetics and today I want to show off a hobby project of mine that I've been working on and I also just purchased ScreenFlow. So let's see how uh, if I can make a nice video with this. I'm recording my second screen here. Um, the project revolves around something that I have to do for uh, my hobby project uh, Xcode Jobs which is basically I'm retweeting all the iOS and Mac uh, jobs that I find out there and so what I would do uh, for example I would go and search for hiring iOS uh, execute the search and then I would uh, have to start go through these and check one by one okay uh, VC labs well that's some sort of weird scheme uh, LinkedIn I'm not interested in bullhorn reach as well they are recruiters I don't care for these Photography I already retweeted and so on and so forth. And you see lots of lots of work involved like this. So that's why I'm building an app to help me with this. And let me just uh, briefly run that. Um, it's built on the accounts and the Twitter framework. And what it allows you to do is uh, set up channels. And I've already set up one here, but let me add a, n a new one. So what you would do is enter your search query, like hiring iOS, and you name it, it adds the name automatically if I haven't added one so far. It's a nice convenience. Now I don't know which is which, so let's do that again. Um, uh, plus um, hiring iOS. Uh, and if I just save, that's available here. And well, I can switch between my channels. I could, for example, also say if I were interested in people tweeting about WWDC tickets. That's how I found the people to put on my uh, WWDC attendee list. Um, so what I would do is I go in the channel and you see nothing there yet because it's last updated never. So what I'm choosing actually here um, this is using the accounts framework to query what kind of uh, Xcode, and uh, sorry, Xcode, Twitter accounts I've set up and I've set up Xcode jobs here. So if I now pull to refresh, what it does, it also gets my favorites and my retweets. Uh, because in this scheme, uh, retweets uh, are something that's valuable to me. If I scroll down, uh, you see there are a couple that I retweeted. So I know, okay, these I've already seen. Yeah. And now what I would do is, okay, third screen talent, probably recruiter. So I long uh, press here and I can block all the tweets from them. These also. So you do this once. Okay. LinkedIn, Mobiquity might be uh, some, some proper uh, a company, but I don't like LinkedIn job ads. So what I would do is long press here and block all the links that contain a uh, uh, link to LinkedIn and the same for example here with Bullhorn Reach I block all of these and you see lots of uh, tweets are disappearing Xperis live job okay that's some recruiter don't care about that something with search don't care about that I shape black belt web and iOS developer so let's click on here you see I've already added an in-app web browser and that looks rather promising mobile apps, a proper website. All right, so what I'll do is long press here and retweet these guys. And what I, uh, I can also do from here, I can favorite them. And I've just stolen <laughs> the, the logo from Twitter. So if it's favorited and retweeted at the same time, it looks like this. And actually, uh, that's also something special here. Um, the Twitter search, API does not provide uh, proper new style retweets. So what I'm doing is some magic behind the scenes. If I find uh, a tweet that's RT and a name, then I go out and fetch this actual uh, tweet. And then in the actual tweet, I get the retweeted message. So I get both and I cache everything. And uh, each retweet basically counts as a vote, I, th I thought, because there's some, uh, job offers that have been retweeted by multiple people no, and don't have any in this timeline here so all the ones that you see on the side are mine 
but sometimes uh, a job tweet would be uh, really funny or something getting lots of retweets and those you would see like a plus five or plus six so those are definite candidates for retweeting here as well now um, you've already seen all that this app can do for now so I can block people I can block um, uh, links so actually the domain of links uh, and I can also open it in Safari uh, which is quite simple to do I just open open URL for your app application and yeah well um, it's already proven to be extremely uh, nice oh, this now hiring don't care about these propel London don't care about these and the thing is you ha only have to do that once and then you don't see them ever check Patrick recruiter Space Coast recruiter and you see it reduces itself nicely to the list of people that I actually job leave recruiter um, that I've uh, deemed worthy of retweeting now uh, let's go to the other one WWDC and actually now let's do a new one if you just look for WWDC um, you find that there are many many uh, different languages that are mentioning WWDC and most of these languages I don't speak like uh, Italian and Spanish and lots of other things so wouldn't it be nice if I could filter the tweets by language so let's do that uh, I'll add a new channel WWDC English and uh, here you see I've got a language filter and uh, I click on the uh, sync here and what it does is it gets my current locale and adds that and since I also speak German so I could add this as well um, go out to see I've got two languages filtered and if I save this um, and again pull to refresh here suddenly I don't see well there's a there's a couple like um, well it's it's filtered uh, quite down so very few people in English actually mention WWC most most are Italian Spanish French I don't know mostly link baiting uh, they are discussing um, they're tr thinking that if they mention iOS 6 and an Apple TV they will get lots of clicks on their website sites so this this filters it uh, out tremendously uh, and you see what wh who is this uh, tool eventually for uh, it's not to uh, replace an existing uh, Twitter client but it's actually if you do some sort of research I imagine that maybe down the road you could, could have uh, multiple uh, channels that combine or like one channel that co combines multiple search results so uh, in, in the case of Xcode jobs I would have hiring IRS, hiring Mac, hiring OS X with lots of uh, people filtered so uh, I could have a broader search and I'm also thinking maybe this plus button I should should remove and instead if I have the edit I have the plus new channel below here and instead of the plus I, I like possibly to be able to refresh all my searches at the same time and then maybe to see uh, count how many new uh, items there are so that I don't have to go through the through them one by one but I could just okay there's a new one okay don't care there's a new one okay this I retweet and so on and so forth and so you you can use that to quickly uh, and conveniently uh, filter the whole of Twitter into down in the to get the nuggets the few that you are actually interested in so I hope you like this demonstration um, give me feedback if you uh, have some ideas what kind of features would be good in in this app and well that's it for today